2023 is the 30th anniversary of the legalization of homosexuality in Gibraltar. And this didn't happen overnight. It was the combination of years of blood, sweat and tears by campaigners locally, but most especially uh, by Charles Trigo, who is here today, and we have honored him in uh, my past two years because I think the work that he did was very much underestimated at the time. So thank you, Charles, for your work 30 years ago. Because of this, we now pride ourselves on being a diverse and inclusive community. But there are many countries in the world where being gay or trans leads to persecution, imprisonment, torture, and even death. And it's, it's really is inconceivable that there are 69 countries that still criminalize homosexuality. And there's only 28 countries in the world that recognize gay marriage. And Gibraltar is one of them. So little Gibraltar is very much far ahead from many of the big, you know, the big countries in the world that call themselves progressive. Is tolerant really a word that should be used as a positive? It is, but really is it enough? Are you happy being tolerated? Because really what we aim is to be accepted. And not just us, everyone. What we aim in life is to be accepted. We need to create more awareness of the broad gender and sexuality spectrum because there are people who identify as male, female, those who choose to transition to a gender that they were not assigned at birth. There are those who identify as non-binary and gender fluid individuals who find it hard to identify with just one of the genders, as well as all the varying sexualities. And right now, and every time I get a platform, I try to give a shout out to the trans community. This part of our community today is where I feel gay people were 50 years ago, with regards to social acceptance at least. I find a lot of the issues understanding, or lack of it for that matter, and a lot of people are fine with trans pe people existing, you know, but they don't really understand them. And I don't think it's our job to understand things, I just think we need to accept the people for who they are, and let people live their lives and be their true selves. So when someone asks why we still celebrate Pride, I can answer that very simply. It is because of Pride that today and every day of my life, I can be myself. 